and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Azorius Flyers uh, with new donation deck here to try out our Safara combo deck. Basically, we have our 21 drops, 18, never mind, there's the two fairy guide mothers. We got our 18 one drops. We're just trying to get four flyers in play with those 18. We have our four hush bringers because of how good that card is in the format and two hanged executioners that can get us two bodies. Um, of course, the Imperial Eagle only gets us the one, but you know, like, so we're trying to just throw down four flyers and get Safara Skyblade into play right away. You know, so this, we, uh, with that first ability, we need four untapped creatures with flying. And you just pay one white mana, get it in there. It's a 7-7, seven, seven, and all of our other creatures with flying have indestructible. Save them from sweepers, and then we can start attacking in and everything. So we got our four Safaras because we're trying to play that as early as possible. Um, but, be, then, but then besides that, of course, Imperion Eagle is our lord for our flyers. Rally of Wings is an amazing finisher for us. And we even got a little bit of card advantage with the Winged Words. Um, so that's what our deck's all about. The Hushbringers, it's just it's just such a good card in the format, which is why we're playing it, even though it has some anti-synergy with the deck, with Hanged Executioner and Fairy Miscreant being shut off. But it's just too good of a card um, against so many things in the format, which is why we got the four of them there. Our sideboard's pretty basic. We got our four cards. Tamik, of course, against Nyssa. So any deck playing Nyssa, we're bringing in Tamik. Um, Sir Yulin Drake, obviously, against the red decks. Disdainful Stroke is a great counterspell in this metagame against the Jeskai Fires decks and also against um, against Simic Flash because it counters Nyssa and Nightpack Ambusher and Frilled Mystic and a large Hydroid Krasis. So it kind of counters everything in, in those decks. And then Dovin's Vetoes for other uh, for other like control decks that are playing sweepers um, and decks playing Teferi's, trying to counter those before they come into play, or you know we'll try to attack them down and, and things like that. So we got some vetoes over here too. Um, so yeah, so let's let's get to it. So let's let's see how this does, and see how our our Safara combo deck does. Yeah, I. I think if there's one one thing with the list that that I'm worried about is that we're we're not playing the full playset of Rally of Wings. We'll see how we do without it though. But yeah, that's that's something I could definitely see like at, towards the like you know after afterwards that could be something to change for the future. But I think that may be our best payoff card, even better than Safara. But let's see. All right, so we got our three we got three flyers to start with. We need to start with a blue creature. You know, we do we don't want to le lead with turn one healer's hawk because if we do that, then turn two we can't double spell. So we need to go turn one play miscreant or spectral sailor, and then turn two we get to double spell. And I'm gonna lead with the miscreant so that I'll be able to flash in the spectral sailor on turn two. Okay, so it looks like we got the. The all that glitters deck. So this is probably just going to be a race here. All right. We got turn three Safara. Perfect. This card is great at racing. <laughs> you can't really, can't really race Safara. And we even have a Spectral Sailor we can flash in here to be able to block, be an indestructible blocker. <laughs> yeah, raising against the turn three, seven, seven flying lifelinker where now also all of your other creatures are indestructible. It's kind of impossible. So 
They have to have removal for it. Oh, you don't necessarily have to buy cards. You can earn them as well. Yeah, they could be playing Prison Realm, Conclave Tribunal. Could be playing things to get rid of it. Stone Coral Serpent has reach. Can block something. I guess they just decide not to. But of course, all these other creatures are indestructible, so it doesn't really matter. But they still could have saved a life by blocking something. Our four sideboard cards do not do not help with this matchup. So let's get Safara in play. All right, this will do. So Miscreant can attack right away where Pegasus cannot. I'm gonna be waiting on the Hushbringer. We're going to just play, like, Hanged Executioner and all this other stuff first. Hushbringer is going to be, like, one of my last cards. triple spell. Alright, that's a good card. Hushbringer would have stopped that. Could have stopped that. Next turn, I can play Executioner and Hushbringer. The same turn. Ugh. Stop. Owls. Ooh. Whiffed. Yeah, creatures are protected from Kaya's Wrath when Safara's on the battlefield, except for Safara. Safara is not indestructible, so Safara will still die. But the rest of the creatures are protected. Hmm. 
I guess we just start with Safara over Hushbringer. Uh, what do they have that's holding priority? The the puppet. They can just exile the puppet at any time to make a one one. Serpent. It's a good card. Yeah, first strike. No. That's fine. If they double block Safara or even triple block. We just exile the Stone Coral Serpent with the Hanged Executioner. And now they just double chumped. So that's pretty good. Ah, Hushbringer's still in my hand. <laughs> the new Chupacabra. Arcana style is basically Ravenous Chupacabra. Basically. Hey, Radical Guru. Good evening. Ah. Update the record. <laughs> Struggling over here. Something clicks. There we go. Want to know? They, they took Pegasus simply because Pegasus was a two-one, where all the other creatures are one-ones. Hey, holiday season's going awesome. And guys, what's up? Okay, cool. The Gruel Henge got you to plat three tonight. Good job. Oh, I don't think we keep a five lander. We'll mulligan. I'll keep a two lander. We'll put the fable passage down to the bottom. And see, we got our birds. We got the bird sleeves to go with our bird deck. Probably need to play the winged birds. Next. Uh, maybe Hushbringer. Hmm. This is probably a matchup where Hushbringer is good. Could be playing Frilled Mystic. Guess we'll get that in play. Could have Voracious Hydra, Wicked Wolf, Risen Reef. I'd rather play Winged Words, but Kind of expecting counterspell if I go winged words. I'd like to draw land here and be able to play winged words, they counter it, and then I play Safara. This next turn. Hmm. Alright, now 
Let's go this side here. Thanks, Arm. Good job. Also, get into number 869. Good job. Now I'm a poor hush bringer. I liked bringing the hush. I will protect the virtue of this world. Nature's true power. All right, looks like Rally of Wings will steal this for us. Unless they have spell pierce. Nope, no spell pierce. So we want to meek and disdainful stroke. And we're going to cut. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, no, I know it's spell. There's no spell pierce in standard. So yeah, I guess we were good. Uh, yeah, there's definitely matches where you side out Safara. I think I may do that here. We're gonna take out two. And I think it's like this is like a good Hushbringer match too. It's not a bad hanged executioner match being able to exile some important creatures. Like Night Pack Ambusher. Guess we have Disdainful Stroke now, though. Yeah, if I take out Miscreant and Executioner, we'll play three Safaras. Let's try that. Let's give it a try. Tamik stops Nissa from. You can't target land, so Nissa can't turn lands into 3 threes with Tamik in play. Nissa still adds double the mana, but cannot turn lands into 3 threes. I mean, yeah, it could be Simic Ramp. It's not likely with seeing Brazen Borrower, but it sure could be. Need to draw a little bit more land. So I'm going with shocking in the hallowed fountain right now because next turn I think my plan is playing to meek plus hold up disdainful stroke. So, you know, we start holding up to Sample Stroke next turn. But that would be kind of that would be pretty obvious if I shock in Hollow Fountain next turn to do that. So we'll just shock it in right now. I 
Uh, this song is Phoenix 1901. The previous one. Alright, I'll come right back to this song a minute and a half in. Uh, Spoon, can I sit next to you? Where are we at? We're like right here. Yeah, no problem. Hey, what's up, Nick? I guess I could trigger the or could target the Hushbringer that has life link. I guess that's better than the Spectral Sailor, but oh well. I'm not really expecting a sweeper in the Simic deck. So basically, I I just countered that uh, Hydro Crisis because I knew like that our turn would end up this way, and that this should be enough pressure. Two now. Azores Flyers getting it done. We don't really know how big of an impact the Hushbringer had. It may have had a, a pretty big impact. Like maybe they were a, a deck with a lot of Risen Reefs in hand or something like that. Just not really sure. It's possible it didn't make that big of an impact. It's hard to tell. Dream Decker not updated. All right, should be now. These are not good hands. Control. The Safaro Rally of Wings combo is really nice. Where you know you tap your four creatures to play Safara and then you untap them and attack for a bunch. Tark Stomp, Twitch Prime Sub. Thank you, Tark Stop. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate that, our eighth sub of the day.
Mm. Springer stops Gadwick. That's cool. Hey, J Jack. Ooh, yeah, reprint Selfless Spirit. That'd be good. No, we did not get. No, we didn't have time for the green mid range deck. We ran Don't out of time. I got this. The other videos took a long time. It's It was going to be the same deck that I played last Thursday. If you wanted to. If you wanted to just see the deck in action, um, I'll play it again soon. Probably. Probably tomorrow. Bringing all the counter spells. Cut Safara. Cut. Do I want to cut Rally? No, I think I want to keep Rally. Probably Hushbringer. Hushbringer does stop Gadwick though. Like that's that's the one one really good thing that Hushbringer does is stops Gadwick. I'll keep two and take out the, the Hanged Executioners. How are we doing on land? 22? Can we cut a land? Yeah, we can cut some lands. We'll keep the Hushbringers in and cut two lands also. Let's go. Let's go down to twenty. So our our plan here is just to play some small creatures and then have our eight counter spells to help help have them up. Yeah, disdainful strokes just a really good card in the format. It's maybe not necessarily this matchup. But just in, in the format, the Jeskai Fires decks, it counters all of the creatures they have and the Fires of Invention. And uh, and against the Simic decks, they're playing Nightpack Ambushers and Frilled Mystics and Nissas and Hydroid Crisis and just counters all that stuff. Hmm. Maybe this should have been a land. So 
I'll put the Hushbringer back. We'll lead with Miscreant. Yeah, I really like these full arts. No, miscreant. Ugh. Surprised Disdainful Stroke doesn't get a full art. That's a nice looking planes. Um, yeah, like, yeah, we could have had it, could have led with Sailor and then played a Hushbringer turn two. This would have been better if we, like, this allowed us to, if we drew, if we draw a one mana, if we drew a one mana white flyer, would have been able to play it here also and been able to have three flyers out where keeping the Hushbringer would not have allowed for that. Um, also, if, if we do draw a Miscreant, then, you know, we get to draw an additional card. I liked both of those options, where the Hushbringer is only stopping a late game Gadwick, but we have Disdainful Stroke anyway. Really, the main thing was the ability to maybe be able to have three Flyers in play on turn two before we start holding up our counter magic. I must have connection issues. Oh. You may need to refresh your stream then, Carbon Required. You may be a long ways behind. But of course, you wouldn't be hearing this right, right then. Because you're a long ways behind. Thanks, LRF. Uh, opponent, do stuff. Do stuff. It's true, everything is going according to plan. Just play a couple of small flyers and hold up counter magic. We took out Safaras because it's not easy to have four flyers in play, especially with this plan.
Doesn't affect our clock. We still have a two turn clock here. We can just let that glass cask get resolved. Yeah, we have that card Molda, but we sideboarded it out, Safara. I'm not sure which counterspell is better to show for a game three with Veto or a Disdainful Stroke. It's definitely kind of debating between the two. Not sure. I wonder if they're keeping in Planar Cleansing with their bringing in Glass Caskets. Wonder if they're going to have that wonderful combination. This is kind of annoying. Either we draw another land and we get to play Eagle, or we draw. Or we draw other flyers for the Pegasus. Those are kind of the only two options. Yep. really don't want to play eagle and then they they play a sweeper play time wipe really want to draw a one drop there we go this pegasus has been kind of annoying I like not letting them draw four cards. <laughs> I like not letting them draw seven cards. What? Oh, it, it itself triggers. It doesn't. The other ones don't trigger. Boo.
stop. <laughs> They're going through the graveyard. Like, wait a minute. Never expect the fourth. All right, Vito. It's possible they just had like more counter magic on their end, but you know, Dovin's Vito can't be countered. <laughs> yeah, so that was perfect counter counter spells for us. We had the disdainful stroke for the Gadwick, and then all the Vitos. Perfect counter magic. <laughs> Live by the counters, die by the counters. Teach them to play a counter spell deck. <laughs> yep. Imagine counter magic gaming being salty about counter magic. Yeah, the the vetoes did their thing. No, well, Gadwick is not three CMC whenever you whenever you pay the X. And so when it's on the stack, they had an X of four because they were going to draw four cards. And so the Gadwick was seven CMC because it does add that four to it while it's on the stack. <laughs> yeah, just just wait till they reprint Supreme Verdict. Yeah, Verdict would have got me. Blossoming Sands. We're playing Lifelink Flyers. So we'll play in the Hushbringer here, because if we draw one drop, then we can go Miscreant, one drop, Safara. It can really be any one drop. Thank you. I'll gain a life. Hmm. That's not a one drop. So let's go eagle. I think the eagle scouting ahead for us. Technically, it's better to get these get two bodies out there than one, even though I'm showing I'm showing how some some poor deck building putting them together, but it's it's just better to do that. And then, of course, our rally of wings was gonna clean it up the next turn. Probably gonna have to play winged words turn two. To refill the hand. Look for more flyers to get the Safara in play. Hmm. Or 
I could go sail Sailor Guide Mother. No, let's just draw two. QQ! Another tier one sub, 12 awesome months. Thanks, QQ. No blocks. Main question is if they're gonna have something for Safara, or if I even worry about that, or if I just try to rally. Like, I can just rally two turns in a row. Or if I take a turn off to get Safara and play. I guess they're going to have Giant Killer. Yeah, they're going to have Giant Killer for Safara, aren't they? If we draw white mana, if we draw right white mana, we get to double rally. And they they're dead. Just gotta draw white mana. Yay. All right, 4 0. D E D did. All right, y'all know what that means. 4 0. We're on to the final boss. Where's my final boss playlist? Here we go. Let's get that 5 0. The winged words have been good. I've liked these winged words. Been impressed with them. <laughs> Hopefully you lose now and we get the five ones so we can hear the playlist longer. <laughs> Are basically able to keep this because of winged words. the white mana.
I'll just have one white mana. Need to draw another white land. I think they had quench again whenever how they kind of played that. Hey, Hyperion. This is what we did last time, and it worked out. I don't know if I want all three Hushbringers. Or all the Hushbringers. Let's, let's play some more Fairy Miscreants. This is difficult. I guess I put back Rally of Wings, even though it's like my best card. Maybe I put back Disdainful Stroke then? No. So of course our, our plan is turn two to Meek, turn three Eagle. Can I get can I get rally of wings instead of this? Just trade. Ouch. soul farmer. No, don't draw lands. I've liked I've liked them not drawing lands.
Brazen Borrower is a card. Can you like play like a Brazen Borrower to block? I don't really have a great answer to Brazen Borrower. I hope they play. I hope they play Nessa. 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 Darn. GG, or as we say, darn. I just would have been cool for them to play the Nissa. But I had to show another disdainful stroke instead. I kind of want to play a couple of vetoes. Yeah. Abzan troll against a red black cat deck. Okay, the, the deck that I'm playing up next there, Pedro. And basically the only thing they have for Hushbringer is Frilled Mystic. I think that's it. So I can probably trim two. And even after sideboarding, even with all the stuff in the sideboard, you're still struggling with the red-black deck? And that's why we cut Hushbringers down to one, because we're, we're going to draw the one. And we only need one. us not drawing more lands. I'd like to draw counter spells now. Or Rally of Wings. Ooh, Danger Zone. Speaking of Top Gun from earlier. That was pretty likely we drew a one like a one mana one one to play after the winged words anyway so which we did here and I'm just playing it before counter magic so the reason to throw the Imperion Eagle out there even though it did get quenched, that's not bad for us because we got the attack in for four. Now we're in the same spot again. The reason to do that is so they don't get to just play a night pack ambusher to, to start getting their clock going. Can't that, which cannot protect itself. 
The land fights for us. Well, we got six power here. Probably means no hydro crisis. GG's. Five and O. Oh. Beating the Simic deck twice. Did seem like we were a little just too fast for the Simic deck. But they have to get pretty fortunate with like really early Night Pack Ambusher to win. Because that was the only, we only lost one game to Simic Flash there. Um, yeah, I mean, we did a really good job drawing the rallies. Hey. There we go. The Top Gun song play into the Azorius Airs deck makes it all worthwhile. Thank you so much there, Midnight. <laughs> that was pretty perfect. Um, yeah, I would I would still at least go... At, like, the thing is, is you can't play too many rallies and too many Safaras. You know, like, there's, there's a limit to how many rallies plus Safara you can play. Because your worst hands are just ones where you just have lands, rallies, and Safaras, and you can't do anything. But we we did a really good job drawing the two rallies. We did like we were basically drawing as many rallies as we were drawing Safaras, if you think about like all the games put together. And so honestly, I would play a third rally over the fourth Safara. Whenever you draw two Safaras, it's it's pretty bad. And and there's there's some games that rally wins for you that Safara wouldn't. Other games where Safara wins, where rally wouldn't. But I don't. I don't think. I don't really see Safara as a, like, just a much better card than Rally of like playing like four and two. I would rather just have three and three. And, um, like the thing is, is Safara definitely gets a lot worse post board. We're gonna you, you know, like when we're bringing in like all these counter magics and and everything. So far is kind of bad in our so far is basically so far is good in our good matchups and bad in our bad matchups, if that makes sense. That's kind of the problem with Safara. Safara makes our good matchups better. Our our matchups where our opponent's not playing removal. Safara is awesome there. And that those are already like the good matchups, usually. Because usually it's the decks that are playing a lot of sweepers that we have trouble with, and Safara is bad against the decks playing a bunch of sweepers. I mean, it's obviously it you know, it can give your creatures indestructible. But just usually with those matchups, it's hard to have four creatures in play also. Um, no, I, I don't like Dungeon Geist at all. No, I think Dungeon Geist is is too slow. You know, costing four mana all the time um, is not something I'm super interested in. So, yeah, no, I like, I like Safara and Rally both more than Dungeon Geist. Um, did I ever play the Mythic Dovin here? Like the six mana Dovin? Is the three mana Dovin Mythic also? I guess the three mana Mo Dovin's Mythic also, isn't it? I was thinking that was the one that came to mind. Um, no, probably not. Maybe sideboard? Like this could be. This is a, a pretty decent sideboard card against the sweeper heavy deck just to have a card that has multiple bodies. I don't think it's a main deck card though, but this is a this is definitely a reasonable sideboard card and, and one that could work pretty well. Our I liked our sideboard plan of just having the eight counters though. The eight counters definitely worked well for us. Um, I, 
I guess Dov Dovin instead of Hanged Executioner is also reasonable. Especially with playing Hushbringer. So I, I think Hanged Executioner and Dovin are pretty close. Sometimes, like whenever, like we saw, we won that one game with the Exile there, 6 6. Like the Hanged Executioner was awesome that one game. It would have. So, I don't know. Like, they're, those are pretty close. Um, Tamik? Yeah, it's it's fine. It could be upgraded. But it's it's fine. As we saw, like, that one game, drawing two Tamiks, like, the second one doesn't do anything because they're legendary. So, I'm not sure if you want you know, three copies. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's not, it's not great, but it's not bad. So it's just kind of fine. Opinion on Pegasus. I love Peg. I think Pegasus is, is a necessary card to be playing to, yeah, I think, I think you'd need to be playing the four loyal Pegasus. Okay, uh, I'll answer that one later. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's Azorius Flyers. Uh, yeah, not Mystical Dispute. As we saw, like with those, the control deck, it's like they had the mana for Mystical Dispute whenever they're playing Time Wipe. Uh, Mystical Dispute's just not reliable. I like how do how reliable Dovin's Veto is and Disdainful Stroke as well. Anyway, all right. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the five O. Um, Azorius Flyers deck. Um, could you main Tamik? Absolutely. Yeah, you could. Instead of Hushbringer or like that slot, like, you know, play like one or two Tamiks instead of a couple Hushbringers, that you definitely could. Um, but uh, there we go. All right. So, uh, yeah, hit that like button, leave the comments, do both of those, y'all on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching some Azorius Flyers, and I'll see you for the next video.